गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग एंड सम ऑफ यू मिड नाइट फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर विथ यू टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट हर पीस हर पीस विच इज बॉर्डर्ड millions across the globe and we have with us dr rupali she has been a great clinician and today we will be sharing everything which you wanted to know about the herpes the different varieties of herpes so can we start with the presentation please friends those who suffer from herpes know the pain of herpes the wearer of the shoes knows where it pinches some of you have been suffering for so many years and you have been running from one doctor to another one hospital to another one solution to another and there's nothing which you can get relief from so here is the opportunity which we want to share something very interesting which could transform your life into a better health we understand your misery we understand your suffering we understand the pain which you are going through every day so that is how we at welcome cure have come up with a faster and better relief you know there's a beautiful thing national herpes awareness day so we want to offer you get all right get relief before 13th october which is a national herpes awareness day you know what is the national herpes awareness day it's a big problem actually australia has come up with a concept about awareness because 90% of the people are not aware about their own infection they don't know what is herpes they don't know the pain they don't know what is the solution there is no definitive cure in modern medicine they can offer you a wonderful symptomatic relief two third of the world's population over 50 have highly infectious herpes virus that is not there two third means just imagine that 66% are carrying they are carrying with a live bomb of herpes virus those who have suffered from herpes pain the post herpetic pain will understand what i am talking okay which may last maybe for few days to few months and to few years and this is not all what we are saying you can refer to the links which we are mentioning friends recently only well it ain't day has passed What's the difference between love and herpes? Love may not last forever, but herpes does last forever. That is why we want to offer you something very interesting: a herpes-free life before 13 October. What is herpes? Herpes is something which is caused by virus. which affects the skin or mucous membrane with blisters which are painful and very very difficult to manage there are three kind of viruses the family contains you know even herpes have a family and you also have it right dr rupali yes yes absolutely so herpes simplex virus first the type 1 causes cold sores or fever blisters 
around the mouth. So they remain restricted to the mouth area. We have a second variety which causes soreness and the sores around the genitals, around the sexual organs. That is herpes simplex virus type 2. And then we have the third variety which is herpes zoster or herpes virus type 3 causing chicken pox and shingles. Shingles being the most popular in their activity and the number of people suffering. Look at the number of people they suffer in US, in African countries. You can't even imagine. It's very, very painful. Okay. So the most common we are talk, going to talk about is the herpes virus 3. It is also known as varicella zoster virus. We are giving you this detail so that you understand the process. Four cases of every US thousand population suffers. Okay. From herpes zoster. Just look at that percentage. 1.3 million people suffer and those who are above 60, 10 cases per thousand suffer. So 3.2 million people suffer from herpes zoster with no relief. Look at the number of hours lost. Look at the, you know, the productivity which the US is suffering. Suppose if we are able to relieve them, see the wonderful shift which is happening in their life and that is what we want to do. Overall, if you estimate all over globe, there are 140 million people with a lot of complications who need a hospitalization. It is 4.2 million <laughs> and deaths are 4,200. Now, would you like to share something, Dr. Rupali, about how, what is the mode of transmission? Yes. Actually, her, people who are suffering from herpes will be very well, well aware that is that, that the mode of transmission is through skin contact. I can't see, so. The rash, the fluid from the rash, the fluid from the rash is the highest uh, contagious. We'll add it, don't worry. Virus spreads through the direct contact with the fluid from the rash blisters. However, the virus can spread from a person with active shingles to cause chicken pox to a person who has never had chicken pox. A person with active shingles can spread the virus when the rash is in the blister phase. So the blister phase is the highly contagious phase. The varicella zoster virus or the human herpes virus 3 always causes chicken pox and that is termed as the primary infection. After chicken pox resolves, the nerves do not leave the body. They remain dormant in the nerve roots. You mean when to say the virus never leaves the body? The virus never leaves the body and remains dormant in the nerve roots. And when the immunity goes down or is compromised, there is a reactivation of that virus later in the life which can cause shingles or herpes zoster. Ye thoda bada karun, if you can. Take it up. I take it up. Still. Ah, it on the side. Ah, now make it bigger. Okay. Yeah, we are live. We have already spoken about this. Next slide. No, no, speak again. You will have to speak again. Okay. Varicella zoster virus. Varicella zoster virus causes chicken pox as the primary infection. After chicken pox resolves. This virus remains hidden in the nerve roots, not leaving the body. So when the immunity is compromised or goes down because of some reason, 
there is a reactivation of this virus anytime later in the life causing shingles or herpes zoster. This is a shingles is a viral infection which involves the spinal nerve roots and that is why it is so excruciatingly painful. It shows up as skin eruptions which are usually in the form of fluid filled blisters which are red in color and are accompanied by burning and itching. They usually are at one part of the body or one side of the body belt like or bag like. See, Dr. Rupali, what happens that, you know, it follows the nerve route. Whatever is the nerve following, it will follow the same pattern. Right. So, it will go like a band or okay. like a belt. And one particular side will be expressed. And which side gets expressed? The weaker side. See, if you blow a balloon, now the balloon bursts from which side? The thinnest layer. So in human body also, during the development, some things have happened by which a particular area remains weak. Okay. And what are the symptoms? Predominantly, there is itching, tingling and severe pain. Usually healing occurs between four to six weeks, but the scars remain. So there is a social stigma. There are problems. And as we saw earlier also, 60% of the herpes people, sorry, the 20% of the people suffer from severe now pain ranging from few months to few years. And see the joke. A new study found that herpes may lead to a memory loss, which is too bad because the only upside to having herpes is fondly remembering how you got it? You know, you will always curse that person how. And here we would like to share a beautiful case. A case of a builder. 62 year old man came with a severe supraorbital neuralgia. You know, above the eye. He was suffering for last four years. Nothing could relieve. People say you have a psychological problem. So he went to a psychiatrist. Some say you have a neurological problem. So he went to a neurologist. Okay. Some say you have to see the physician. Some say you have to see a dermatologist. And it kept on changing. The person kept on suffering. The pain was so severe that he would pop in many, many medicine. But this pain was better by pressure closing the eye, holding it firmly and washing with cold water. The patient was prescribed homeopathic medicines and to our surprise, within three weeks, the pain started decreasing. Within six weeks, the patient recovered completely. Not all people are so healthy and so happy. Okay. So he received the right guidance the right treatment after four years. Now some of you are suffering. Why do you want to suffer for such a long time? There's a pain, burning, numbness, which is sensitivity to touch, red rashes. They are so painful. You cannot even wear clothes. They are fluid filled blisters that break open with a lot of itching. Okay. Just imagine 140 million suffering in America, Europe, Western Pacific. And whenever certain drugs are taken, which suppress the immune response, even after organ transplant or autoimmune diseases, the herpes zoster becomes active. And Dr. Rupali, you'll be surprised that some of the cases of Hodgkin's disease Lymphomas, human papillovirus is the cause of vast major, you know, being a lady, you understand. With a lot of cervical cancer, it is very difficult. And then these people suffer from a lot of complications. Because of lowered immunity. Yes. And there lies the solution. Homeopathy has very beautiful medicines 
and at welcome cure we have an expert panel of doctors who can treat good skin conditions like herpes very effectively okay see the diagnosis you have to do viral culture culture you have to do viral culture by scraping the source that is one way and one of the important way to know is polymerase chain reaction test this allows you to understand which type of herpes virus you have see that technology is advanced the diagnosis is advanced but the problem lies in the in treatment. treatment can you say something about this like these are the stages of chickenpox which are depicted the incubation period is usually between 14 to 17 days and the prodrome is between 3 to 5 days then there are a formation of vesicles which go on to form as pustules and then they form as scabs and there is a recovery typically 7 days after the rash appears and see you know as a child you might have suffered from chicken pox and when you grow up they come with a vengeance you know, see how beautifully the artist has depicted small chicken and they become big and when the man becomes big he suffers from shingles okay so different things at different stages of life now what are the complications you know complications are very very important because the nerve fibers are damaged they are inflamed and they send confused and exaggerated message of pain from the skin to the brain and this message is so sensitively taken by the brain that it reacts and these people have severe unbearable pain and this is the point where a homeopath can come into the picture pain and can be sorry yeah, yeah, please pain can ahead. be effectively relieved by homeopathic medicines homeopathic medicines are safe and pro made from natural uh, substances in the environment. They are chemical and side effect free and give you permanent relief in your pain. Over and above that, they also give you an enhanced immunity to uh, that uh, enhanced immunity which can prevent the recurrence of infections. See the complications. Complications are so severe if the eye is affected, the area around the eye is affected, there is ophthalmic shingles, then you can damage your retina and sometimes you can lose the vision. And this can be totally prevented if the patient comes to homeopathy. Other complications are inflammation of the brain, it can become encephalitis, facial paralysis, or hearing problem and if the things go deeper if the vitality is low what homeopathy does is to increase your vitality if its vitality is low the bacterial skin infections are very very difficult to manage very very difficult to manage okay now I would like to share a beautiful case we had an industrialist patient whose wife, they were a multi-millionaire. She suffered from severe ear pain with paralysis. There were a lot of problems. She was on a vacation in France. So she showed it to the doctor there. The doctors at France said nothing can be done. She developed total hearing loss in the right ear with the herpetic eruption in the right ear she couldn't speak she couldn't talk there was a voice loss the pain was so severe she would take three painkillers nothing would relieve the patient was running between two to three hospitals she came back to bombay no relief 10 days passed the patient was brought to me with marked salivation right-sided paralysis, trigeminal neuralgia 
and her face. Just imagine a lady cannot hear, cannot talk. Okay? Is the biggest punishment one can get. We took the history and a simple medicine which was prepared from herb, caustic cum 30 was given. In 24 hours, the pain subsided by 60%. At the end of 72 hours, pain was gone. And in seven days, she recovered from paralysis. 14 days, she was able to talk, walk and do everything normally. With no trace of herpes, no trace of hearing loss, no trace of paralysis of the vocal cord also. Okay. And no recurrence till date. Friends, what international doctors could not do, homeopathy did. Friends, try it. Try it once. We want to offer you a free consultation. The offer is open. The patient gave a beautiful testimonial that she was amazed with the speed at which she recovered. She could never believe that homeopathy can go into such a depth and produce such a wonderful result. And friends here, Dr. Rupali, would you like to share something here? This is our Bible, which we call Repertory. And can you see, friends, we have so many remedies listed under shingles. So we have so many remedies with which we can treat your condition and the uh, symptoms and its complications. See, look at this. 74 remedies for shingles. People find it difficult to get one. And you can see that intensity is also specified. Four marks, three marks, two marks and one mark. You know, here, we have just enlarged the view for your convenience. Okay. If the shingle is affecting the head, then we have different group of medicines. See, homeopathy is so individualistic. One lock can be opened by one particular key. Same way, a patient with the right medicine, right symptom can recover completely. And here we have 33 remedies. You know, here Dalkamara comes four marks. And we have another shingles in the extremities. Different 25 remedies. Here you can see all are one mark. And then we have shingles on abdomen, 16 remedies. And here you can see another remedy, graphitis comes on the top. And then we have mercurius, sulfur, arsenic, silicia, tellurium, iris. And graphitis are four marks. This is where we stand out in front of other systems of medicine. And mind and friends, mind well. All these remedies have been proved on human beings, not on animals. This is the strength of homeopathy. Shingles on chase, eight remedies. Again, different. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Friends, I can understand your pain. I can understand that people with shingles have severe and chronic pain and they experience, because of the pain, they experience persistent feelings of sadness or anxiety. They lose interest in, in their hobbies and activities that were once enjoyable to them. And because of this, they lack motivation and uh, suffer from fatigue and lack of energy. We have simple remedies. Nectar muriaticum. A medicine prepared from the salt. Which is worse from sunrise to sunrise. With marked periodicity. Rust talks a simple herb. Which can affect the blisters directly. There's a marked restlessness in the person. Person feels better, the pain feels better by constantly moving around. We have renanculus bulbosus, which acts directly on the blisters, which look bluish and the worse by alcohol. The moment they take alcohol or cold air, the pain goes very high. And these are with full of itching. Okay? Very, very important. Then we have iris versicolaris. 
Again, very, very important. It is with nausea. The eruptions appear, especially on the right side of the abdomen. We have another beautiful case. A lady came with a severe herpes on the right side. Next day, she developed severe vesicles, tiny, tiny vesicles with itching and pain. We gave her and she came at very early stage. So when, because she came early, in two weeks, the improvement happened and the lesions completely dried up with no complications, no post herpetic pain, nothing. So here we would like to answer some of your questions. Dr. Rupali, can you say what are the risks of shingles? If you at any point of time have had chicken pox, you are always at risk for shingles if there is compromised immunity or lowered immunity. Shingles is typically associated with aging. That is why it is more prevalently seen in people about 60 years of age. Weakness of the immunity system makes you prone to getting shingles. Even people on medications for a long time or people suffering from cancers or chronic infections are prone to herpes, uh, to shingles, sorry. A person's risk for herpes doctor increases sharply after 50 years of age. You can see the incidences. Almost one out of three people in the United States will develop herpes zoster during their lifetime. Isn't that alarming? We have the solution for you. Homeopathy can definitely uh, treat her herpes very effectively with the remedies we offer. One out of three. 33 percent population. Amazing. And how can I protect myself from shingles? Ideally, if you take constitutional homeopathic medicines, it can prevent also shingles from occurring by building your immunity. And even if the attacks come, it will be very mild. It will not be that strong. It will be absolutely silent and it may disappear within a very short time. Okay. What are my chances of recovering from shingles? Over 90% of the people will recover completely from correct, natural, side effect free medicines which is chemical free. Have no lasting symptoms and will never get shingles again. So these are the chances of your recovery. Is there any vaccine? Yes. It is not 100% effective. The cost of the vaccine may be sometimes genuinely prohibitive for some people. One shingle vaccine may cost you $200. In India, it may cost around 7,000 to 8,000 rupees. But it's not a sure shot. How many shingle vaccines you have to take? Normally, it is recommended for adults above 60 years of age. And if you had a, a previous episode and as long as the disease is not active, you can take a shot. What if you already had shingles? Even if you had shingles, you can still take homeopathic medicines which can help you to recover completely and increase your immunity and it is easily manageable. Can you get shingles if you never had chicken pox? No. It is not possible to have a mild case of chicken pox. Without that you cannot get. So even if you are affected or contracted with the virus, first you will get chicken pox and maybe later sometimes shingles. How do we manage? Dr. Rupali, would you like to share because that's your area? That's right. So people, are, it's, it's difficult to manage herpes, but we can give you some tips to manage herpes. Lightly salted baths can help relieve to a certain percentage. People uh, even find relief in applying petroleum jelly to the affected area. Always avoid tight clothing around the affected area. Give it ventilation. Always wash hands thoroughly, especially after touching the affected area. And always avoid from sexual activity until the symptoms have gone. Some people find that stress, which is the big word now, trending word, being tired, illness, all these cause 
or are identified as triggers for shingles. Adequate rest is obviously completely necessary for complete recovery. Do not mix the laundry of the infected person with that of others. Always soak the clothes of infected persons in warm water separately. And do not apply strong or abrasive ointments or any other local applications. Instead, resort to homeopathy, which removes the, uh, which removes the infection from the root cause and makes you herpes free. Now about the nutrition. You have been dietitian. Yes. So about the this nutrition. is the topic which is close to your heart. That's my forte. Yes. So share it from your heart. So I believe all of you would know that following a balanced healthy diet will obviously make you lead a healthy life. So even if you have suffered from shingles or have not suffered to get adequate immunity, have a balanced healthy diet and keep yourself hydrated. Include fresh fruits, lightly cooked fresh green and yellow vegetables in your diet. Even include legumes like black eyed peas, chickpeas, lentils and kidney beans in your diet. Whole grains are always recommended in moderate quantities. What do you mean by whole grains? Whole grains means foods which are unprocessed. Usually, trending just now, people are usually following uh, joints like McDonald's, like other joints which are having processed foods, processed meats. Those foods digest very easily and release sugar in the blood very easily, leading to no absorption of nutrients in our system. Whole grains are unprocessed foods which take time to get digested, thereby letting the body absorb the nutrients which it offers. What foods to avoid? Excess sugar, chocolates are to be avoided. Drinks such as coffee, alcohol and carbonated drinks have to be avoided. Please avoid fried foods, peanuts and peanut butter. And white rice and white flour are processed foods which have to be avoided. And of course, you are missing one point. The processed meat. meat. Very, very harmful. Very, very harmful. What is the homeopathic approach? Friends, we need a holistic approach. We need patient-friendly approach. We need an approach which will remove the disease from the roots, which is long-lasting, gentle, swift and which builds up your immunity and the fighting capacity. So if you take homeopathic, your immunity will go up to a, such an extent that you'll be able to fight the disease. The medicines have customized. You know, today, friends, understand this. Whole world is coming to one concept. Which they are talking is human-specific medicine. These medicines have been proved 200 years back and trust me, all have been proved on human beings. It's not on animals. It's not on animals. It's not on anybody else. It has been proved on human beings. And they are now coming that a medicine which is given to one person may not be effective to another person. But this is what homeopathy believed. So a correct medicine which is prescribed, which is safe for all age, all age groups, even from newborns to the people who have lived for a century, it is safe during pregnancy and also during breastfeeding. Friends, this is very, very important. You care for your family and we care for you. It is preventive. It improves the immunity and it decreases the intensity and the symptoms and the duration of the disease. Prevents complications. So all the complications can be prevented. Prevents the recurrence. Okay. Reduces the post-shingle now pain, which is brought down to a great extent. And as you have seen, we have more than 80 highly effective homeopathic remedies as well as its complications can be managed. We have unique individualizing features in each case. Netramure 
for the herpes with periodicity. Letremur. Lachesis for left side aid. Lachesis for left side aid. Lycopodium for right side aid with the pain coming from 4 to 8. So this is how the remedies are differentiated which is the core of homeopathy. These are some more remedies. We have some questions. We'll answer them. Benefits. We have a beautiful health portal. Dr. Rupali, you've been associated with this portal since many years. Would you like to share something? Yes. Welcome to all the largest online homeopathic portal. And we boast of an expert panel of doctors which specialize in many health conditions, especially conditions like herpes. We deliver medicines at your doorstep. At any time, anywhere, you can access your medical records. We, get, we also offer health tips and do's and don'ts about the health conditions. Along with that, me being a nutritionist, I also offer food plans for different clinical conditions. Can you record it again, please? Say it again. Benefits of the health plan. At Welcome Cure, which is the world's largest online homeopathy portal, we have easy and secure payment options. We deliver medicines at your doorstep. At Welcome Cure, we boast of expert panel of doctors which specialize in treating many health conditions, especially skin conditions like herpes. You can at any time and anywhere access your medical records. We have add-on features such as clinical tips and health tips for your health condition. We also give you nutrition tips for your clinical condition. It is easy to get a free consultation now. You can call on 98335-98553 or mail us at askme at welcomecure.com to get a free consultation now. There is a question from Soumya. Can you answer this question? How can I treat herpes with homeopathy? Can you explain, you know, what kind of detailed history you take? In homeopathy, we take individual, each individual, each in, uh, each patient as an individual. We take each patient's history, their likes and dislikes, their lifestyle habits and individualize them. Even if five people are suffering from same herpes condition, we won't be giving the same medicine to each and every person. We will be... Uh, analyzing the case and individualizing each case and giving different remedies for the same herpes condition. There is a case form which is uploaded which, which you can download and fill and send us at askme at welcomecure.com. See Sagar, you know, the shingles is the herpes which affects by virus 3. There are other two viruses which affects the face, the lips and another variety which affects the genitalia. So we will be taking this up after this. Okay. So we will be talking about that. So what is the summary? We, will be, we have shared with you some of the cases and the capacity of healing with this homeopathic medicine. Freeing from that terrible pain, homeopathy heals from within to enhance the quality life. So, get a quick, long-lasting relief. Get strong from inside and save and protect your health. It's your birthright to get a good health. Okay? We fight for so many things. Here is your opportunity to fight for your health with fast, reliable, acute and permanent solution of homeopathy, enhancing health always and welcome cure is available to you all the time, every time. As we said in the beginning, love doesn't last forever. Herpes also doesn't last forever unless you have it treated with correct, natural, side effect free 
chemical free homeopathic medicines friends our next episode will be herpes lepialis just imagine such a beautiful lady suffering from herpes herpes lepialis a great issue now a great issue can we have the chat closed when you suffer from labialis what happens you cannot face people there are hundreds of people who will ask you what is the reason what is the problem what are the issues what are the issues they will ask you and you know normally you would like to meet people have a wonderful relationship a normal pattern we hug each other we meet each other and when you go and meet with this kind of eruptions people go behind people don't allow you to meet with this cold source in your mouth dr rupali what is your experience usually people who are disfigured on the face are not looked uh, looked upon they feel taboo they feel they are bad to the society they do not mix with people and they cannot lead a healthy sex life because these uh, this infection spreads by kissing oral sex so they cannot lead a healthy sex life and what does marlin temerman has to say who is a director of who for reproductive health and research america has got 178 million women suffering 49% and 142 million that is 39% of the men are suffering from herpes labialis just see the record in africa shocking 350 million people 87% of the population and 87% that is 355 million men are suffering see in the mediterranean see around the europe south east area and western pacific look at the number of people we are suffering and if all these people even 1% of this population takes homeopathic treatment dr rupali they will have a different life the quality of the life will be amazing friends look out for such life where you can enjoy and what is the mode of transmission as she said little earlier it spreads from the skin to skin contact it breaks from the skin which is broken it enters it is transmitted through oral surface and which appears normal they may be a virus which is being carried so don't go by if the person doesn't have eruptions she might be a carrier or he might be carrier and look at this joke why shouldn't you eat your girlfriend's peas because they are her peas okay we have done this and it could be infecting even the genital area so oral genital contact can cause lot of problem during the oral sex symptoms of herpes labialis there's a blister or sore in the mouth lips tongue nose or gums burning pain around the blisters tingling or itching near the lips and outbreaks of several small blisters grow together and may be red and inflamed it could also cause fever sore throat some lymph nodes are enlarged and which is painful there are there is the muscle leg which is difficult to manage complications can be dangerous if it goes around the eyes infection can lead to scarring of the cornea or vision it can cause lot of complications and we would like to share some videos with you of the cases a frequent sores and blisters can create lot of complications the white spread bodily infection can weaken the immune system 
and people with HIV have a lot of problems. What are the psychological impact? Would you like to share this? Yes. However, in time with people with either kind of herpes, they feel that they have to live with this infection. And that's so sad. Homeopathy can offer treatment to them and make them live a very healthy life. They should not be adjusting when there is a solution with homeopathy. And look at this. For herpes labialis, we have 42 remedies. Look at this. And all naturally occurring substances. Mux olivis works beautifully when there is a lot of profuse sweat. Reconeticum in the first stage of herpes labialis. Or rust talks with pustular eruptions and both labialis and herpes zoster can become a very important remedy for rust talks. Pepitis with a lot of sticky discharge. I'll share with you a lady, a patient who came with complaint of recurrent herpes for last one year. She had lots of burning pain. She couldn't sleep. The pain was worse at night. Better by application of warm water. She used to carry small bottle. Wherever she went, she would take sips of water. The patient was managed beautifully with homeopathic medicines. And there were only two recurrences in five years. With the correct indicated medicine, the patient was completely cured. And here is the testimonial of this patient. Listen to what she has to say. And she willingly shared her. I'm Sangeeta Modi. I was suffering from herpes since uh, I think five to six years. Then I came to Dr. Jawarsha and he treated me. For a year or so, I took his medicines and I was completely cured. Thanks to welcome your body. I'm Sangeeta Modi. I'm suffering from herpes. <coughs> It's not hard. I'm Sangeeta Modi. I was suffering from herpes since uh, I think five to six years. Then I came to Dr. Jawarsha and he treated me. For a year or so I took his medicines and I was completely cured. And thanks to welcome cure for this. See, how does one get? We have already discussed by kissing or oral sex or infection from the partner's genitals. So one has to get exposed to a person to get this kind of herpes. How long does the herpes infection will last to feel the symptoms? Normally it develops between 2 to 20 days after the contact. May last up to several weeks. Okay, varying from one person to another and the first infection is mild, it may go unnoticed also. So with some people, after a few days, few weeks, the actual eruption starts. This is a very major problem, life threatening to the infant. Medication will help you to prevent or reduce the lasting damage to the infant. After birth, if somebody comes and kisses this child with her face, the child had it. Child may develop a lot of complications. So prevent, prevent people from kissing your children. Now we have another option. We go to the third aspect 
herpes genitalia. Friends, this is the third variety and which is very, very difficult to manage. We have had quite a few patients who suffered from months and years. And there was one industrialist who suffered for many, many years before he came for homeopathic treatment. So one has to be very careful. It is the herpes simplex virus 2. Also, it is known as genital herpes. Okay. It can also cause sores in the facial area. Sometimes it can spread because of the relationship in the facial areas. Look at the prevalence. Is it not scaring? That is also in 2012. Look at the African people who suffer from this. Millions and millions of people. And here we can do something. Few months back we had a patient from Africa. She came with a very severe pain and lots of complications. We treated her and we couriered the medicine to the place where she was staying. After six months, she sends a beautiful letter mentioning about the recovery. At this stage, I would like to share two more videos. One is of a young girl who recovered completely from PCOD, completely from corn and from herpes. And there is another lady. So can you play those videos one after another? And keep the full volume. My name is Narumi Modi. And since many years I was uh, suffering for herpes. And I used to get a lot of corns on my feet. And uh, even PCOD since last two years. And uh, with just one year of medication with Dr. Javasha and I am absolutely fine now. Uh, thanks to Welcome Cure, my periods come on time and I am pain free. Can you play the second film, please? I am Mala Gupta. I was suffering from herpes. And in a short duration of uh, three weeks, uh, I uh, completely recovered with no pain, no discomfort and no side effects. I thank homeopathy medicine for this and I thank Dr. Jawahar Shah very much. Thank you. So can we go back to the slides? Thank you. So up to 82% of the women suffer in Africa. And these statistics are scary. This says that we have to go and help them so that they recover completely. Friends, a lot of you have registered today to understand how you can be helped and look at the joke it's a bar and what does it say which is empty the shingles virus walks into a bar and everyone leaves so if you are suffering there's a major issue with the people around you they don't want to be close to you because they are scared they will suffer 
and as we have seen the mode of transmission is through contact through skin to skin contact through sexual relationship including oral and normal relationship and what is the problem here what does who say would you like to share dr rupali yes who says that herpes is a lifelong infection lifelong which often has mild or no symptoms but can be detected by the presence of antibodies for herpes simplex virus 1 or herpes simplex virus 2 and it is difficult to determine the proportion of the hia hsv infected people worldwide who have symptomatic disease because so many of the people may be carriers of the disease or they don't know that they have been infected and even if they have they may not communicate to their partner because of the social stigma in the united states of america about 15% of people with hsv2 infection report a prior diagnosis of genital herpes transmission of hsv must most often occurs without symptoms and that's scary the virus can have a significant negative impact on an infected person's mental wellness and personal relationships so what are the symptoms of herpes genitalis cracked raw or red areas around the genitals without pain itching or tingling there can be itching or tingling around your genitals or your anal region which is which causes a lot of discomfort there can be pain from urine passing over the soles which is more commonly seen in women there can also be presence of small blisters that break open and cause painful sores they they may be on and around your genitals on or on your buttocks thighs or rectal area more rarely blisters may occur inside the urethra which is the tube where the urine passes and when this urine tube gets blocked the urine becomes painful and it's difficult to pass the urine sometimes they may not pass for hours and we have wonderful remedies like cantharis which <laughs> which help in treating this pain irritating <coughs> symptoms sorry remedies like cantharis which helps not only to relieve the congestion but help in passing the urine there could be additional symptoms of headache backache flu like symptoms including fever swollen lymph nodes and fatigue would you share what are the complications complications may be other sexually transmitted infections having genital sores increases your risk of transmitting or contacting a other sexually transmitted infections including aids or hiv a newborn infection babies born to infected mothers can be exposed to the virus during the birthing process or the delivery process which may result in brain damage blindness or the death for the newborn it can also cause rectal inflammation which is commonly known as proctitis genital herpes can lead to inflammation of the lining of the rectum particularly in men who have anal sex it can also cause bladder problems the sores can cause inflammation around the urethra that delivers urine from your bladder to the outside world the swelling can cause the swelling can constrict the urethra for several days which sir talked just now requiring the insertion of the catheter where homeopathy can help wonderfully it can also cause meningitis In rare instances, HSV infection leads to inflammation of the brain brains and cerebrospinal fluid surrounding the brain and spinal cord. Psychologically, people get sometimes totally finished. It gives them so much of depression, fear, anger, self-esteem goes down, and. even if they confess it to somebody else it becomes a major problem and this psychological morbidity is a very major issue in today's problem 
and they may not like to have a physical contact with the person who is suffering. See, we have beautifully, in male we have 42 remedies and female we have 45 remedies. So females are winner, of course. What other thing? Emotional problem worse in women than in men. Men is able to take it very easily. Because of the stressful event, they do not participate in a lot of activities. And when they get stressed, it precipitates the recurrences. It affects the personality. The person may not be. He became recluse. He may not meet everybody openly. And then we have beautiful remedies like lecases. We have Thuja, Croton Take, Sepia, Creosotum. We are just sharing few. And a case of genital herpes. We had a beautiful case of 44 years female. We came with severe acrid leucoria, itching and burning, which was better by cold water tried all the other modes of treatment, herpes would not get relieved. She was fed up with the complaints and the patient was prescribed indicated homeopathic medicine which was sepia in this case and the patient completely recovered from the herpes. Is herpes contagious? Yes. There are various statistics. Somebody says 410 million, 417 million. It is a major, major problem. What if I am pregnant? Dr. Rupali, would you like to share? Women who are pregnant and in the early stages of herpes, they would develop antibodies so they do not present a danger when they are delivering the baby. But women who are pregnant and they they get herpes in the last stage or the last trimester of pregnancy, they have, they are at a risk of spreading the virus to the baby causing neonatal herpes. A woman who contracts genital herpes in the third trimester of pregnancy is at a higher risk. What treatment options are there? Obviously, as I previously said, homeopathy is currently the best uh, best and safest mode of medicine which can effectively treat the symptoms as well as the complications. And WHO it, says, WHO says openly that homeopathy is the second largest system of medicine which is being followed by people globally. And today friends, there are 600 million people who take homeopathy as one of the system of treatment. What if one partner has herpes? Take proper precautions, take proper protective measures, use the condoms and avoid unnatural forms of intercourse. Okay? It is very, very important that you follow that. Bring that patient to homeopathy and get it treated. Genital herpes includes the symptoms of sores in the skin, but the virus is actually an infection of nerve cell. Virus enters the body and settles in the nerve cell near your spine. What if get reactivated? When it gets reactivated, it travels back through the nerves and out through the skin resulting into blisters and sores. When there are not enough virus particles traveling through the nose from a blister, they are passed through the skin and a person may not have any symptoms of an outbreak. This is how genital herpes is passed even when the sores are not present. So friends, we want to thank you and Dr. Rupali would like to share how you can take benefit with Welcome Cure. So after offering such a good solution for people who are suffering from herpes, we invite you to log on to www.welcomecure.com or you can call at 
9833598553 or mail us at askme at welcomecure.com to get a free consultation right now. So friends, what are you waiting for? We are looking forward to help you come out through this painful and traumatic condition called herpes. Thank you for being with us. Hope to see you and you will spread these good words to all your friends across the globe. Create a healthy, harmonious, happy, homeopathic world. Thank you Thank friends. You Goodbye.